Hello guys and welcome in this new video. Today I'll show you how my new script works and the script is called ScriptGPT and it basically allows you to talk with ChatGPT as you probably tell from the name. So if, you, if we type in here, hello, my name is there, we should get back a response from ChatGPT telling us, hey there, nice to meet you, how can I see you today? So if we ask them, uh, who are you? It should tell us that it's ChatGPT. I'm an AI language model developed by OpenAI and the reason is because we are actually using ChatGPT's website to get back our, our answers to our questions. So if we now say, my, uh, what's my name? I told you in the conversation. It should tell us your name is there because it actually remembers what we tell them. So we should get back, yeah, we got in here our name. So the nice thing about this, we can see by clicking on GUI, we can see all of our conversation in a, in a GUI. So we have my message, hello, my name is there. Hi there, nice to meet you. Who are you? My name is uh, ChatGPT, I'm a language model. What's my name? What's the name I told you in the conversation? And you told me that your name is there at the beginning. So we can have the whole conversation in here. And let's say that you don't want it to be in three lines, as it's shown. You can click on spread the text and it will like be a little longer or shorter. And this is us useful when you have a, like a long message. So if we ask it, how do I craft a cake in Minecraft? Yeah, there it is. It's kind of long as a message. So we can just open the GUI by clicking on here. And we have the message here and we can just spread it. And as you can see, like by default, you can't really see the whole message or maybe it gets cut out if you have a smaller screen. You can spread it so that you can see it longer and see completely. And the other thing I really like about the script I made is the bias. So by typing this command, we can add in before everyone's message. So let's say you're a server admin and your server is a roleplay server. Therefore, you want players to be able to talk with an AI, maybe with an assistant, but the assistant has to talk in a specific way. So for example, you want your assistant to be a medieval helper, so someone that is from the medieval age. So you can just type in the bias that is going to be in front of everyone's message. So you can say, you are a medieval, medieval helper. Your name is, I don't know, Arthur GPT and you know a lot of stuff about medieval age. You talk in a media medieval way. I don't know guys, I don't really know a lot of stuff about medieval age, so sorry for this super generic. But by the way, this is the prompt. You're basically instructing the, the AI and telling them how they should behave with all of the players on your server. So if you type this, type this and, you and you press enter, you'll have in here the whole bias. Uh, you are a medieval app, eh? and if you now say, uh, did I clear my conversation? Okay, you first clear your conversation, and if you now say, hey there, who are you? We should get back a response saying that they are not chat GPT, but they are medieval helper. Hi, hey, good sir, madam, I'm Arthur GPT, a humble medieval helper. I'm at your service if you need any assistance from my knowledge. Yeah, you are... GPT <laughs> in your message wait uh, you talk in a really cute way all of the R's in your words are replaced with W's and you add a lot of in your text okay by doing this Everyone's conversation, including mine, so if I already have a conversation with a medieval helper, the bias will switch globally for everyone. And so if I now say, hello, who are you? It's, I don't know if it actually does, but it should switch its behavior and abide to what I told them in the first place. Yeah, there it is. Oh my, I'm sorry. I didn't introduce myself properly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, therefore, you can basically have anyone talk with a custom assistant that you decide and you create by just typing in chat whatever you want. So, I can just clear my conversation. I can clear it. And even if the conversation is cleared, the bias will still remain for all of your players. So, you can basically say, 
Hey, my name is there. You sh we should get back in another message with the Uvu messages. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> As you can see, it it's super like it, it's really really uh, follows the instructions we gave them. And the last thing is how it actually works. So I haven't, of course, included the whole ChatGPT model in Minecraft because that will then be that will then be possible. But I've wrote a script that allows you to actually send messages to the ChatGPT API. And basically what we are doing is send, uh, storing a message and sending this to ChatGPT. ChatGPT elaborates it and sends it back to us with a response. So yeah, this is how ScriptGPT works. I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, you needed those two plugins for it to work. You need the script, which is the main jar file that allows the script to work, and ScriptGPT, which allows you to use the syntax to actually talk with ChatGPT in your scripts, and the .sk file that you can find in the description as well. So yeah, have a nice one.